Hey y'all, it's Rob and Terry. First I want to show you this washout section. Got a bit of bad news today. They called a uh, a meeting for the company that me and little brother Sean worked for and let us know they were shutting the doors. <laughs> I've worked there for 18 years. So we came home and I worried myself sick for just a little bit trying to figure out what our next plan was. And I said, let's go get in the creek so we can meditate. <laughs> but either way, I don't know if you can see this dark line right here in this washout. And we found a couple little pottery shards right here. And Terry found just the biggest piece of pottery we've ever found. It's not a whole piece, but it's a good one. Let me get up here to it. She has moved it. I don't know if you can see that. It's a shame it didn't have designs or anything on it. Go ahead and get that. She has moved it a little bit. Get this thing. Man. Yeah. It's even got the little legs on there. That's cool. I'd say that's almost half. So that probably fell out of the bank as a whole. And the recent rains have tore it apart. So we're going to have to keep our eyes open pieces that I found already have some designs and this doesn't have any designs so I know they don't go to it. Man how cool is that? I'm guessing it probably had four legs. Doesn't look like it's too recently broken. Man. Crazy cool. Yes, indeed. All right. Yay for Miss Terry. <laughs> yeah, man, that is a cool one. So we're going to mill around through here and uh, see what else we can come up with. We're not going to hike too far, but if we get anything else on here, we'll put it on. As always, y'all, thanks for watching. All right, y'all, we're headed out, and Terry found one. She's picked it up, so. It's kind of windy. Oh, let me see if I can zoom in a little. Just trying to block the wind. A little crudy quartzy. But we'll take them. And I found one down here, too. Let's find a piece of crystal. Look at this piece. Hmm. Oh, down here by my stick. Let's see, can you see that? It looks like one. Oh. Looks like a big Marl Mountain, but I, I don't know. This is a, a really young spot, so not that that means anything. Yep, I'll take it. Some kind of little point or blade or something. Definitely a crude one, but I'll take it all day. All right, but we're going to walk straight up through here, and then we're out. So if we get anything else, we'll put it on. All right, so we're just headed right out over there. Terry's here, carrying her cool little ball in her hand. <laughs> oh, but look at this big piece of quartz. Looks like the tip maybe broke. Just want to get zoomed in. Strange as it can be on that back end. Not sure if that was being worked down to a drill or what that is. Neat, whatever it is. Alright, we're almost done. Alright, we made it back home. And you can see uh, some pretty cool patterns on this one. Super thin. These are pretty much washed down to where they don't have anything on them or they didn't have anything on them to begin with. And that one had, but it's pretty much wore out. Another thin one. Then this piece had a lot on it. Big, chunky piece, too. 
and then this piece it's worked so I don't know if it was like a little knife or a little scraping tool or something and then this one I'm not exactly sure I'm just gonna have to look at it a little better you can see the work marks on the base right there so I don't know what that was could have been a scraping tool too this little one that Terry found which is pretty nice some kind of a neat flake marks on the back the big piece I found and then the find of the day Terry's look at this thing it's a shame it isn't a whole thing like that And this thing is too, too cool. It's got one little spot right there that looks like it's about to... And it was like that when I got it, so I'll keep an eye on it, make sure it doesn't try to get any worse. But yeah, I'd say it's almost half of a bowl. Super, super cool piece. So Terry, no doubt, gets the find of the day. That's a good one. All right, so uh, as always, thanks for watching, and uh, thanks in advance for your comments. Good luck out there. We'll see ya.